Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you want to bake cakes in Power World this fast? God damn right you do. Now for those wondering and thinking that it's a sped up clip and the speed's fake, look at the speed on this monster. And I just want to point out that this guy doesn't even have all the best work speed passives. So we haven't even reached full Sonic mode. Right, let's get baking some cakes. Now the first and most important step in this recipe is hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell because I make daily Power World content. And don't forget to like and share the video as it really does help out and I appreciate you. Love you all. So a couple things you're gonna need to do this. Better kitchen, better cooking. If you're not high enough level, well, it's the welfare pot for you. And a flame cauldron to make your flame boys more flamier. And some souls from pals that you've sent to a better, happier place. Check out my previous videos, especially the Power Soul Farming Guide, because you can get a ton of souls very, very quickly. So, we need some chunky Jormontai Dignuses, and they can be found on Wildlife Sanctuary number two, which is right here. Now you're going to need a male and a female because we're going to have to breed these so it might require quite a few captures if you're unlucky like I was. Now if you're a low level and you don't have access to legendary spheres and you don't want to go to the wildlife sanctuary because it's too dangerous you can actually still get one at very low level. So there's two areas that you can actually get Jormund tied from on the map that don't require the wildlife sanctuary and it's right here from an egg in the volcanic area. Now if you don't have heat resistant gear there is another area that you can get them from. They're from huge scorching eggs and you can find it in the castle ruins here so you don't even need heat resistant gear. Meaning you can get a Jormund tied Ignis at a very low level. So if you're a low level, just go and capture a Nightwing, get a Nightwing saddle and just fly to all the roofs. Now you will find eggs on the ground as well and in towers, but they do respawn once you pick them up and you should eventually get a huge egg. I found two in one run before, so you just gotta farm it daily, but just check all the roofs, all the nooks and crannies that they're everywhere in this castle area. It's a really good place for finding scorched eggs. Now I don't know the chances of getting a huge egg, but like I said, I've had two from one run. Don't forget to check these bones because there's always eggs hidden in there as well and that looks like a huge egg and it is lovely a jubbly. Now there's no guarantees it's going to be a Jormund Tide Ignis so you're going to have to farm this daily. Now once you've got yourself a male and female it's time to get breeding. And you're going to have to breed a lot because we are after specific passive skills. You want Artisan, Serious and Work Slave. Now if you're lucky enough to catch a shiny Jormund Tide or get the rare trait that's also good. There's also Conceited. Now another good alternative, especially at low level, is this guy, Ragnarok. Now I was lucky enough to catch a shiny one, so I've got the lucky perk off the bat. And he's got level 3 kindling, so he's not as good as Jormontide Ignis, but he's a close second. Where on earth is that going? Now the good thing with Ragnarok is you can almost control the passive skills that he's got because there are a lot of combinations to actually get a Ragnarok from breeding. Whereas Jormontide Ignis you can only get from breeding Jormontide Ignis. But he's not as quick as cooking as Jormontide Ignis, aka Gordon Ramsay. Right, so let's put Ragnarok and Jorm and Tidignus to the test. Now these two have absolutely no passive skills to boost their work speed, nor have I used the Statue of Power, and you can see how fast the Jorm and Tide is compared to the Ragnarok. So there's an obvious clear winner here. This is the real end game of Power World, making cakes for breeding. So Ragnarok versus Jorm and Tidignus with no work speed passive skills at all, so nothing to boost their work speed, Jorm and Tide is the clear winner, cooking two cakes before Ragnarok even made one. So let's compare a Jormontide against another Jormontide with his work speed buffed up. Just remember, they both don't have any work speed passives. Only one's been buffed from the Statue of Power and the other one's just completely default. So here he is, fully buffed up. This chunky boy's now got 91 work speed instead of the default 70. Now let's make him have a cook off. So one's got 91, the other one's 70. Let's put them both out and get them to bake some cakes and we'll see which, well, obviously one's gonna be faster, but let's see if there's a massive difference. It'd be really handy if you could put your pals into position and then just give them a command to not move, not do anything, and then issue the command to start working. But I am excited to see what else is in store for Power World. I hope they start pumping out the content soon now that they've got all this money. I mean, 8 million copies sold in 6 days. That is madness. I've never known a game to blow up this much. Well, maybe Fortnite, actually. So there's an obvious winner here, and you can definitely tell the difference in cooking speeds, that's for sure. That is quite the increase. So I was lucky enough to breed a Jormontide with work speed passive skill, so let's test what he's like. So like I said, I got really lucky with this guy. The only thing I need is conceited, lucky or rare instead of burly body. Look at the speed on that. Now we haven't buffed this guy with the Statue of Power yet, but he is cooking fast. He's, yeah, he's doing work. 
This is the real end game of Power World, who can make the fastest dualman tide ignis at cooking cakes because you need so many for breeding, there's so many combos and then you've got to get the right traits and skills, it's ugh. Now let's buff his work speed with the Statue of Power. So on the left we got the Jormon Tide with the Statue of Power work speed fully buffed up and on the right is the clip that we just saw. Now there is a massive difference, this is about 17 seconds to bake a cake on the left hand side. Now remember, I've got Burly Body as a passive skill, I need to swap that out for Conceited, Lucky or Rare if I get lucky enough to get that. But yeah, 17 seconds is really quick. That's a massive difference, so let's compare this one against the default Jormon Tide Ignis. Now that is a massive step up. Now cooking cakes is very slow anyway, so Jormantide is always going to be the quickest because he's got level 4 kindling, but buffing him up and getting the right skills, I mean look at the speed. However, you can make it even faster by placing the flame cauldron down. Now just remember I don't even have all the best passive skills, I need conceited, rare or lucky. And just remember that isn't even all the best work speed passive skills that you can get. So what you want to do is cook this recipe and feed it to your Jormantide. This will increase the work speed for a period of time, making him a super fast boy. So this is his stats by default, 182 work speed and like I said I need to get rid of Burly Body for either Conceited, Lucky or Rare to get that increase in work speed but I've got all the other good ones. So he's pretty buffed up as it is but we could push it a tad further, I just need to get lucky enough to get it. But yeah, 182 work speed, pretty good going. So let's feed him that scrum diddly umptious meal. So 182, we'll give him that. Back out of the menu so that it can refresh, otherwise it don't refresh. Now let's go to feed him again. And there you go, 236 work speed. That is crazy. And like I said, we can push it even further. I just need to get lucky enough. I mean, I'm breeding these like a madman. I've gone through so many Jormon Tide eggs, you would not believe it. Right, so we've got some cakes ready to be made. Let's see how fast he can be. Look at the speed on him, he's flapping like a madman. But this is roughly around 13 seconds per cake, 13 or 14. And like I said, you can make it even faster. So this is crazy. This to me is a good enough speed to bake cakes. They're already really slow at making, you know, by default, it's, it's a tedious task. But at this sort of speed, you could get one Jorman Tide cooking a ton of cakes for you in your base, go off for the day, do what you need to do, come back and they'll all be made. Look at the way he's flapping, he's going to have an aneurysm in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you found it informative, I hope you learned something, and I hope you get super lucky with getting the traits that you need and getting yourself a really good Jormon Tide Ignis because like I said, baking cakes is the end game of Power World. Don't forget to check out my previous videos and obviously hit that subscribe and notification bell. Absolutely appreciate it, we're over 60,000 subscribers now, we've grown from 30k, I can't believe like the number, it is crazy, so thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. Now we're on the road to a million, also don't forget to like and share this video because that massively helps out as well, and I'll see you on the next one, bye bye.